Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. For those of you that are looking to add a splash screen to your application, so basically the image that shows while your AppGyver app is loading, stay tuned. I'm going to be covering just that in this video. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. So jumping straight in, I have the Tyler Talks app right here. So this is the app that I have released, at least currently it's in Google Play and the Apple App Store. So you can download this, see the YouTube videos, fill out the contact us forms if you're interested. But basically this is the mobile application that I built and uploaded and I'm going to walk you through updating the splash screen here. So you can start by clicking launch and go to distribute and click open build services. This will bring up this application here. So you'll see right here, we have the configure options for iOS, Android, and web app. Now I'm not gonna click on configure and show you the first page because those do display passwords for your key store files. So I'll show you what we're gonna do is a little bit of a workaround for this. If you were to click configure for Android, it would open this screen here. So essentially this is just the image assets. So when you first click configure, it takes you to this key store option. You can just click save and next down here in the bottom right, or you can just click on each of these individual tabs, which should take you to the right spot as well. So for this option, you'll see we have image assets and your splash screens are right here. This is as simple as uploading an image file that, that basically has this resolution. So that's the size. So if you have a file, you can typically open it in something like Paint or other image editing software and just resize it to have this resolution, and then you'll repeat the process. Bear in mind that as you're doing this, there could be some distortion, so try to test this out on mobile devices as you're doing this. Another thing to note is I've noticed when I have installed on some of my devices that it can actually cut off parts of the splash screen. So you may wanna play around with the splash screen a little bit. For example, you may wanna have a little bit of extra space on all sides just in case it does cut off part of the image when it's loading. Just one thing for you to consider. And you can do the same thing for your icons and notification icons. So this icon is actually just the logo I had someone on Fiverr make for my YouTube channel. And then this is a splash screen that is something that someone else on Fiverr made for the banner for my YouTube channel. So basically I just played around with these images and resized them and then uploaded the corresponding files. So again, you just resize it or create files to get each of these sizes or to match these sizes. You just click choose file, upload the file. It's usually done within a couple of seconds. And then you would do the same for your icons on both sides and you should be good to go. Now it's a very similar process for iOS. So if you're in this build menu and you click configure, it'll bring up your iOS settings. It'll start you on certificates. You'll come over to image assets and then you'll upload your three launch screens. So they have the three resolutions noted here. And then you have your notification spotlight and setting icons and app icons. So you repeat the process. You just need the files that match these resolutions. You click choose file, upload them here. Make sure that you're checking on the files and making sure that they actually look correct when it's loaded on the app. But the launch screens are basically just that image that shows up when your app is loading. It's not typically there very long, so I would caution using something with too much text as people probably won't be able to finish reading it if there's a lot of content there. It's just designed to be something short, sweet, and to the point. So I hope that this was an easy walkthrough for you. Once you have all of this content uploaded, you would just hit save and next, and then you would go through the process of actually building out your application once you've done all of the configure options here, and you would do that for each of the corresponding build types or device types noted here. So I hope that answered any questions you may have about how to actually get images uploaded to AppGyver for the most part. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below, and I'll see you all in the next video.